And now, let's check in with the cast of A Christmas Snow. Some special guests have joined us today, and uh, they are part of the cast from A Christmas Snow, which is showing at the Starlight Theater in Branson. And uh, we've got Muse Watson with us. How you doing? Pretty good. Thanks for being here. Thank you. And we've got Cameron to Naples. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Catherine Mary Stewart with us. Hey, how you doing? Good to see you guys. Good to see you yeah. too. Now, these faces may look familiar to you because we see Muse on a lot of different things. Uh, most of all, you're on this big TV show. What show is that? Uh, well, probably the most thing they've seen me on is my picture in the post office. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. I play a guy named uh, Mike Franks on a show called NCIS. And uh, you've been on there for how many years now? Four or five, maybe five. And before Look. NCIS, what were you doing? Uh, before that, I was playing a character named Charles Westmoreland, who uh, everybody thought was D.B. Cooper on a, a series called Prison Break. Yeah. An award-winning Series. And then uh, now you are in a Christmas snow. Yes. Well, that's a, that's a long uh, long way from uh, <laughs> from NCIS. It it is a Christmas snow is me. All that other stuff was acting. I got you. Got you. <laughs> I'm not sure yeah. about that. <laughs> we should hear some of the stories he was telling this morning. Uh, no, uh, he was scaring me. <laughs> I was like, okay. Well, okay then. A Christmas snow is who I really want to be. Want to be. Gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. Now, now, Catherine, you, yeah. we've seen you in some movies and things. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. <laughs> like uh, Weekend at Bernie's Weekend is one of them. Weekend at Bernie's, yeah, and, that was a big one. Yeah. I played the love interest. Oh, yes. And I did a movie called The Last Starfighter and a movie called uh, Night of the Comet and Mischief. And, and since then, I've also done like tons of mini series and uh, TV movies and right. things like that. And most recently, I uh, uh, have been in on the Hallmark Channel quite a bit. I've done like three movies for that and uh, Lifetime as well. Yeah. So all you ladies out there that are you know addicted to Lifetime, Dead at Seventeen, My Daughter's Dark Secret, and there's another dead one. <laughs> well, dead is a very popular part of the, yeah. the title of these movies. Yeah, my wife knows you very well. She oh, watches she you on the weekends. Oh, yeah. good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then here, last but not least, we got little Cameron to Naples with yes. us, yes. who is the big 11 now. Right. Yes. Of course. Yeah, there was a discrepancy. There. Yeah, we've, we, we, we've heard you, you've, ga you've aged recently. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've aged and I've grown. Grown? Yes. Yeah. And Four and a half inches. <laughs> wow. <laughs> We're hoping she makes 12. She's talking about something about a zip line in Bron Branson. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah we hope cards. she makes 12. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she's going to do all and that. And so stuff. how long have you been acting? I have been acting since I was four years old. Well, they're all part of the cast of uh, A Christmas Snow, which came out on DVD uh, this last Christmas, and it's in uh, bookstores and various places around, and has won several awards uh, for this, this uh, movie. Uh, now it's becoming a stage show, which is going to be at the Starlight Theater in Branson. Now, how did that all come about, Muse? Um, well, from what I understand, uh, our... Our esteemed uh, writer, Mr. Jim Stovall, and our director, producer, Mr. Tracy Trost, were uh, sitting around one day brainstorming and, and, uh, and just decided, you know, this would make a wonderful play. And, uh, and they, just, they just got on the phone and made some calls to, just to see if that was a, a viable thing or not. And boy, the doors have just been opening ever since that happened. And, uh, and it's really strange because, you know, when you think about making a, a, a play out of a movie, um, and then you, you think about who your cast is, and all of your cast have experience in musical theater? I mean, what, what are the odds? And so, you know, everything, all the doors started opening, and it's just, it's been a wonderful thing. I mean, it must be meant to be, because all the doors just keep opening. What is the theme of the, of the play or, or the movie? For those that haven't seen the movie, can you kind of give us a, what the, the theme is? Yeah, it's, um, it's a Christmas-themed movie. Um, it sort of rotates around this character of Kathleen that I play and she is sort of has spent her life basically burdened with this dark past that she's really had trouble overcoming and especially around the Christmas season because uh, when she was a child her father abandoned her and her mother and at some point I blame my mother for it as well but I, I've been sort of leading this life I'm successful, but I'm angry. I just, I just can't get over this. And so one Christmas, um, 
due to a, a weird set of circumstances. There's this huge snowstorm, and Muse's character, Cammie and I, are trapped in this house together. And we are forced to get along. We're forced in this weird situation. We don't really like each other, and we don't really trust each other at first because we're virtual strangers. But because we have really no outside influence at all, there's no power, there's no cell phone, there's nothing, we have to figure out how to get along. And through that, we all learn a lot about each other, and a lot of things are sort of resolved in a, in a strange way, and uh, the ending is unexpected. Unexpected. Yes. But yeah. it, it's, it's all about, you know, love and family and forgiveness and redemption and that kind of thing. It's a, it's a lovely Christmas story. I play the role of Lucy, who is um, her boyfriend's daughter. She's also and my nemesis, by the way. <laughs> right, so oh, yeah, definitely. Do you guys um, get into it? Oh, oh yeah, into oh yeah. Let's <laughs> tell you. Mm -hmm. Take, take, take it outside. Like this. <laughs> my character, Lucy, her um, mother has died a few years back, and she's sort of going through a rough time, too, and really can't accept the fact that her dad wants to move on, and because she doesn't and she, she misses her mom, and she knows her dad misses, misses her too, but he starts dating Catherine's character, Kathleen, uh -huh. and which is, I'm not very fond of, <laughs> and it kind of takes, like she said, a weird turn, and everything ends up working out. So. But it all works out at the end. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. Either one of them would be a handful at the beginning of the movie, <laughs> yeah. as you understand. I could see that, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Speaking yeah. From, speak, spoken from a male perspective, especially. <laughs> Hi, I know. <laughs> <laughs> She's uh -huh. a handful. <laughs> yeah. But you kind of got this chemistry going here does that, that, that translates here in person from the movie. I, <laughs> and I bet you it's going to happen on the stage as well. I'm sure it will. Well, we, we can't get rid of each other. Uh, no, that's right. <laughs> and keep right. Yeah, oh, right. Tracy keeps saying, let's do this together. What? Like, Again? Again? <laughs> no, we love each other. <laughs> well, tell I mean, this was a, such a unique experience, that shooting the movie. We, we did not know each other at all, starting this whole thing. I didn't know Tracy, but we just clicked immediately. We really, we did. truly did. This was a special circumstance situation. Muse and I have had lots and lots of experience on sets and in productions and and as have you now, <laughs> but we all agree it's a, been a unique um, situation for sure. Yeah. Now Very you're from, fun. Muse, you're from where? You live in what, LA? Yes. And then you're from Texas. Texas. And you're from New York. I live in New York. And so you've all gathered, and now you're in Branson, which is kind of the center of the whole thing. That's right. How's that, you know, being from all those different parts, how's Branson treating you? Branson is amazing. We are, we are being treated like gold. I've never been treated so well. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable how welcoming the people have been here. And as, as Muse says, the doors have just flown open for this production. Yeah. Um, I think it's unique for this area from what I understand mm -hmm. and I just can't help but think it'll really draw a wonderful audience and it's a real family kind of event too. Kind of brings the whole meaning of Christmas together at Christmas time, right? Right. Yeah. yeah exactly. It does. Because yeah. you know one of the things that this teach, this 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 uh, show brings upon us and one of the things we hope to share is that love is a gift and probably the most important gift you could give at Christmas time. Yeah. Nope. Can I heard there were some uh, some great little things that happened on set when you were making the movie. Yes, there were several things that happened. <laughs> well, every day there was something kind of unique that happened on the set. One of the things that we did to bond, we would, uh, you know, in between takes, we'd just sort of get up and start dancing and singing, and we had the harmony going. We had oh, all yeah. the, and we also, well, when did we shoot? I guess we shot in February. But mm -hmm. because the theme of this, the movie was Christmas, we did lots of Christmas carols. So that was a lot of fun. We, mm -hmm. did, we did a lot of that. You tell a story now. I'm going to think of another one. Okay. Oh, also, like a kind of, I guess you could say, not really a tradition on the set. Um, people would go around and um, they'd have the clothespins. And they'd go around and they'd secretly tag somebody <laughs> with the clothespins. And they'd say, like, you've been tagged or something like that. And so um, I had one, and I was like planning, like I was gonna, I had my mind set, and I couldn't find anybody to do. And so one of the um, on-set interns, Cameron, 
it was Valentine's Day. Right. And he comes up and he says, uh, I was like, happy Valentine's Day, Cameron. Come give me a hug. And I, and I was like, come on. And so uh, he hugged me and I, I tagged him. And he's like, thank you. That means so much. You were the first person that said that to me today. <laughs> I was like, now I feel bad. <laughs> he's like, I just, I just like tagged him. And so I was like, and you, did, you didn't know. Yeah, right? he was walking around all day with a tag on his back. He didn't even notice until I told him later. He was like, hey. It was funny. Kind of like wearing a kick me sign. Gotcha, <laughs> yeah, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Right, right. Well, there's a scene in the movie where uh, Muse flips a pancake. How many takes did that take you? Oh, me. Uh, you know, it was really strange because I had tried to rehearse it a little bit, and, I, I, and I'm really not too bad at flipping pancakes, and I was able to flip them. But the problem with the scene was that the scene had to start out with the dialogue first, and there was no way to, to, to start the camera right on the flip and just do the flip. So since we had to do the dialogue first, the pancakes had a little time to stick to the pan. You know, we'd go to flip them, and they would just stick to the pan. They wouldn't go even leave the, leave the pan. So then we decided, well, we'll start greasing it up. So we put some more butter in there and got the butter in there, thinking it would last through the dialogue. And so I'm sitting there, and, and it's stuck again. And I'm going, this is, this is looking terrible, and I don't know what we're going to do. So then we sprayed it with Pam real heavy, you know, and, and it's still stuck. We can do the lines and it's still stuck. So then in the last moment, we, you know, we took like our last pancakes and I mean, you know, we didn't know what else to do. We put butter, we put Pam, we put everything we knew on it. And I was sitting there trying to shake it just a little bit while we're doing the dialogue and everything to make sure. And when it came turn to flip the pancake, I took the pan and I went up. And as soon as I did, the pancake flew out of the pan and went behind my back. And I thought, what in the world was I gonna do? And when it went behind my back, I just spun around. And as I spun 360 around, the pancake landed back in the pan. It was like a miracle. That was the take. And as soon as it landed back in the pan, I thought, well, I'm not gonna ruin this by stopping. So I just kept on with the dialogue and finished the scene. And boy, as soon as he said cut, I was like, whoo! And I looked over at Cammie and she was all <laughs> laughing and everything. Well, it was so funny because, like, he flipped it and then whenever he caught it, he went, ta-da! <laughs> 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 he couldn't believe that he'd done it. I could not believe I don't I think any it. of us could have. I know. <laughs> it, was it, was, it was like the perfect moment. It's kind of the, the moment that an actor <laughs> dreams will happen, but it never happens if you try. You know? It's yeah. like the perfect thing. Of course, that's the one they kept in the movie. <laughs> but it was a total 360. Total 360. You see it's it like, in the movie. It's fantastic. Boom. There it is. You're going to have to repeat that every night on stage, by the way. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, me. Special effects pancakes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And you had to cut out all the, oh, my gosh, that was crazy, all those in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. everybody was like, whoa, and they were all cracking up. It was so funny. Well, and the other thing we had was we had this garage door in the show where, uh, you know, it's supposed to pile snow up against the garage door and then we're supposed to lift it. And we had it all with special effects fixed up where, you know, the snow stopped at a certain spot and she was going to work on digging us out and digging the car out and everything. I was supposed to throw the garage door up and there was supposed to be this wall of ice sitting there, you know, about two foot deep. I went over to it and it was all rigged to be really easy. <laughs> and so I was expecting easy and I went over there and I went, and it wouldn't, it just would not move. It wasn't going anywhere. And I, I knew we had to get the shot and I'm, and I'm like, eh, eh, and it wouldn't go. And finally, boy, I just gave it a bust and bam, the garage door goes slamming up and there's the ice sitting there and we got it. But man, there were several times that uh, the set was not cooperating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just Everything seemed on. to stick. It did. It just it seemed to <laughs> stick. The garage door, the pancake. It just seemed to stick. <laughs> it was all stuck. Sticky set. It was a very sticky, <laughs> sticky situation. Yeah. Sticky it just seemed to stick. <laughs> Cameron had got the reputation for knowing all the dialogue. She had the script down. So if we were ever stuck, <laughs> in terms of dialogue, it was always like, you know, we'd just say, so Cam, what do we say here? You know, we'd be like rehearsing and stuff or else like, you are getting ready to roll and sometimes your mind kind of goes blank just before the camera goes on. You're like, Cam, what do I say? She's like, you say blah, 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 and I say blah, and you say this. And like, thanks, thanks. Okay. I'm ready. <laughs> so that happened a that, lot. Now did the director lose his place too? Oh yeah. <laughs> Just say. <laughs>
He's over there. He can't hurt you all the time. He's, he's nodding his head. So, you know, I guess that question answers itself. There's different cameos in the movie. Oh, man. Are uh, there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The director is uh, is in there. I, I've never seen a director run himself into a pole before, but he does. <laughs> he runs himself into a pole, just bang, you know. He likes attention. Well, the writer plays the limo driver at the airport. It's um, when my boyfriend is getting off the plane. We've go gone to pick him up. He, mm -hmm. He's been stranded as well because of this uh, snowstorm. And so there's a shot of him coming out of the airport looking for us. And this limo driver says, would you like a ride, sir? And it's Jim Stovall, who's uh, blind. Oh. <laughs> so it's kind of a little in-joke. He's a gotcha. limo driver. Yeah, so that was pretty Well, good. and then there's the other one, uh, uh, the, the food critic in, the, uh, yeah. in, the rest, in her restaurant that she owns uh, happens to be the guy who won... Uh, the Biggest Loser right. uh, television show. Oh. Danny Cahill. The, and he, um, he, and he plays the food critic in the restaurant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. Got all those little bits trying to, you know, yeah. sell it to every market. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's two uh, bad kids oh, that's, that's who oh, attack yeah. me in a parking lot, and uh, one of them knocks me out, and uh, that's, uh, that's uh, the director's son. son. Uh -huh. Yeah, there sure is. Yeah, that's right. And he made a good hit too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he also he also found a way. Um, whenever I turned on the TV, in the scene, uh, I turned it on, and another movie that Tracy did um, was called Find Me, and uh, Find Me comes on, and it's funny because like the whole music from Find Me and everything is playing, and then uh, it goes to her, and she's in the car, and there's a big sign, a poster of Find Me, and it was funny. And then also whenever she opens the closet. Yeah, we were playing and hide and everything. seek. Or, no, we yeah, we were playing hide and seek at first, and then you wanted to play a game, right? Yeah, we were. Well, we were no, we were playing hide and seek. Okay. And uh, she <laughs> opens I'm the so closet. Glad she's here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she opens the closet, and um, all this stuff spills out, and you can see um, there's Muse and Kathy's movies. Ah. Yeah. All our old movies are in the closet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, all these little shameless. Uh, plugs, or shameful I just, plugs. I just yeah. love his sense of humor. Yeah. I actually have a little trivia section. Uh, we had a little community. I mean, uh, the the place that you see in the movie that is actually uh, plays as her house was a uh, like a little model community. And so instead of having trailers for dressing rooms, we had little model homes that were all in a circle around that home where we shot. Huh. And one of the homes would be like, wardrobe and one of them would be like makeup and hair and then we would have our you know little trailer or dressing room places you know to go to and stuff so it was all kind of cool we had this little community where we worked and you know for a lot of the shoot you know no, I, of course we went off for restaurant and all this other stuff but while we the, the house scenes were all shot in this little community that was just great it was just we were all there as a little community yeah. there was catering in another model home so mm -hmm. we'd walk down the street to our neighbor's house for catering you know, so it was really kind of cool. people that actually lived there were very confused. <laughs> <laughs> <You're back! laughs> yeah. The day before we were supposed to shoot our big snow scene, came this unusual, huge snowstorm to Oklahoma. Came in and just dumped all this snow, and we're all looking at each other like, my word. It was meant to be. Yeah. We and are we, a blessed set. So we get up the next morning, we go into the set like, you know, there we are. We're going to do all the snow scenes. And by the time we got the equipment set up and everything, zoop, it melted. It was wow. gone. gone. Huh. So yeah, we had to use this lovely substance, which is sort of like <sighs> in diapers, they have something in there that soaks up all the moisture, right? You can imagine. And it all it gets really poofy. <laughs> so what they, I think they just bought that stuffing gel. Bunch I don't know of pampers. how you buy that. It's like yeah. jello. And then added water to it. And so we were supposed to have this big snowball fight and everything in the backyard. <laughs> and, oh, this, and it's just mm -hmm. like jello sort of and you're oh throwing it's kinda it. It's kind of like it would, it would like stick to your hand. Again, another sticky situation. Another it would stick to your situation. hand more than it would like. It was so much fun. We were making snow angels and stuff. Yeah. And, and we were having such fun giggling and throwing snowballs and making snow angels. And then all of a sudden you'd watch playback and, and the, the, the four foot blankets of this stuff while you're making a snow angel, there'd be a gap in one or something, you know? <laughs> yeah, just, yeah. We also, so, it was also like uh, uh, cotton, you know, swabs of stuff mixed in there with it. Yeah. So it kind of separated. It just didn't look good apparently. Yeah. So.
It's too bad because that was a really great scene and it was, you know, really showed yeah. sort of the characters kind of bonding and stuff. But then there's other stuff we did too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was very good. It, it was, was cool. And uh, 60 something films I've done, people always come up to me and they ask me a question What was your favorite film? And I used to think, How do you answer that? I used to say, Well, uh, my next one, you know? Mm -hmm. And I tell you what, after I did A Christmas Snow, I started telling everybody this is my favorite piece to ever do, and I meant it. It's just, uh, it wasn't just the product and what we did and the message uh, and the gift that we give the audience, but it was this relationship with Cammie and with Catherine, you know, where we, we uh, and, w and with Tracy, the director and the crew, the crew was just wonderful, We're all like a family, and it was just great. And I know a lot of people say that sometimes about work situations or, or uh, making a project. But this really was, and it, and it is, and it's proven to be true. We stay in touch, uh, you know. We keep up with each other, and 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 we're back together. We Facebook. We you Facebook. Know, so yeah, yeah, we get into the whole Facebook thing, yeah. and also with the crew. There's a lot of I'm, I'm friends with lots of people uh, of, of the crew members from the show too. We're we're all just like we really are yeah. all still yeah. in touch, and, and but it really was a, an exceptional experience. So we need to start a private Facebook thing. Well, you'll have to get a uh, Christmas snow Facebook. That's a good we idea. We got one. Oh, do you? Yeah. 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 And uh, uh, we've got a Christmas snow. And, and the next film that, that uh, Cammie and I did for Tracy, The Lamp, The Lamp has also got a, a Facebook yeah. uh, uh, page. And, um, and Joe Justice, uh, the producer, he, he keeps them all up to date and he's posting stuff on he's there all the time. It. And then there's a regular Christmas snow website, right? Yeah, ChristmasSnow.com. Yeah, Christmas ChristmasSnow.com. Snow .com. When is the show going to play? Uh, it's the Christmas season here in Branson, which is November 1st through December 31st. Okay. So, yeah. So all right. those shows there. So people, you need to get Lots. your tickets as fast as you can because uh, the buses are starting to roll in and start booking it up and, and being there. It starts out one show a night. And I, well, you know better than I do. Yeah, it just starts out one show a night and then we move into uh, closer to the season where we'll be doing two shows a day. I think if anybody's got an idea that there's a time when they could come, they really should call early and get reservations because the schedule is a little different. It's, right. it, it, there's two shows some days and one show another day and whatnot, depending on Branson's schedule. And so it's, it's kind of important for them to call ahead early and, and get in, get their reservations. All right. So, and if you want more information, uh, go to the uh, starlighttheater.com. That's the website where they can get tickets and, and order them. And uh, you guys are going to be there in person. And yeah. Yes. And it's a cool theater. It's, it's really a true. Everybody's been saying, you know, how do you compare this theater to theaters in New York and, you know, theaters that we've worked in? And honestly, it's at least as good as a lot of the theaters I've worked at, especially the one in New York. I did an off-Broadway play. <laughs> and yes, this is much nicer. <laughs> yeah. And you really are off-Broadway. Yes, we're very <laughs> off-Broadway. <laughs> this has such a moving message, and it's such an important message. That, that, and, and we feel so good about receiving this blessing in ourselves. And we want to see that the audience receives this blessing. So we're going to be not only there to, to do the show, but after the show, we're going to be available to the people that saw the show for a couple of reasons. We, we want to support them and we want to see it in their eyes that maybe they did or maybe they didn't get that message and we hope they did. All right. Well, if they didn't, we'll slap them upside the head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. In the Christmas spirit, right? In yeah. The, of course. Of course. Yeah. Or we'll say it over <laughs> very slow. <laughs> <laughs> the gift of love. Yes. <laughs> well, thanks for being on the show with us today and telling us about this. I'm excited for for the Christmas snow and you guys in Branson and being here and a, a, a great way to kick off the Christmas season and, and celebrate, you know. Absolutely. We, we are so looking forward to it. And the zip line. And only the zip line. Yeah. And, yeah, zip line and go-karts. Go and bumper boats. And bumper boats. She's got the list down. <laughs> okay, <right>. ready? <laughs> We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And come to the show. <laughs> that was excellent. <laughs> of course, we have everything at pfiwestern.com, so they can find all about you and everything. And again, thanks for being us. Thank you. So Thank you. when do we get to go shop at PFI? I know. Right now? Right now. Let's right go. Now. I might just walk out. See you there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A Christmas Snow, only at the Starlight Theater. Call today to reserve your tickets, 866-991-1982.
or go online at www.achristmasnow.com.